Hey everyone, Tala here with your next Mineral Minute. Today I wanted to talk about a couple of stones at the same time. Uh, a lot of people are looking for love and they'll say they need rose quartz for love. Well, that's a beautiful piece of rose quartz right there. And rose quartz is about love, but it's also about gentleness. It's about emotional healing, release of stress. Am I coming too close? <laughs> um, recognizing that all love begins with self-love. And that's what I wanted to talk about. So it's really starting with self-love and rose quartz helps you to attain that or helps you get to that level. And no love is really worth it unless you're worth loving yourself first anyway, right? So I would say start with self-love and that's why I wanted to bring in Himalayan salt. Himalayan salt looks very similar to rose quartz, okay? Can sometimes be confused just by looking at it. Here, I'll come closer. But what I really like about the Himalayan salt is that it does cleanse the aura. It does kind of scrub free a lot of exterior stuff that sometimes gets stuck onto us, but it also helps to manifest actions of self-love. You can use it just as a stone itself, but Ideally, to manifest actions of self-love, I would say use it in the bath. You can use a solid piece, just let it melt down in the bath. You can crush it up and make a scrub out of it. Just mix it with some coconut oil. If you don't want to take a bath and just want to do a shower, but Himalayan pink salt, excellent for manifesting actions of self-love. Okay, thank you so much. Hope this helped. Till next time.